me being 100, I still ain't really, I don't have really no balance. And that's what I'm learning now, like trying to balance it all, like, and trying to, I mean, I've accepted the fact that everything is at, the, at, at, it's at your disposal at all times, but that doesn't mean you have to jump at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because it's liquor around, that don't mean you got to drink. Just because it's weed around, don't mean you got to smoke. Just because it's women around, don't mean you got to take one home. So it's like me trying to figure out and maintain like a sense of sanity, bro. Just, it would drive you crazy, bro. It would literally take you out of your element. And I've, you know, I've dealt with that on a, on, a, on a couple occasions, but me trying to keep my character and and stay true to who Chaz is, knowing right from wrong, or like I said, sticking my beliefs, is always the goal. You know what I'm saying? Always maintaining me and not having to compromise who I am and what I stand for just to appease my peers. And you know, you don't you don't always got to try to keep up with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Your road to success is your road. Your path is your path. Don't get caught up in. Like, you know, you people being on Instagram 24-7 and constantly seeing, you know, it's uh, you see it all day. You see it and you feel like, oh, I, I got to have this because this person has it. Oh, I got to be, I got to do this. It's just like, yo, you got to take a break from that sometimes. Like, forget these niggas, bro. These niggas do not care about you at the end of the day. They don't, bro. This shit will chew you up and spit you out in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? That's, and it's like, yo, I used to get so caught up in comments and likes, and now I don't even check it. Like, now I don't even, like, I, when I post, it's just like, all right, whatever. Like, bro, I hate Instagram, bro. I hate Instagram. I hate, like, yo, quiet is kept. Like, <laughs> they be pressing me to post, bro. I hate, I hate it, bro. Like, I mean, it's fun, you know, a couple hours out of the day, you know, you know, try to, you know, checking up on people and see what other people got going on, but, like, if I didn't have to use it, then I wouldn't. To each, hey, shout out to Instagram, shout out to Twitter. I'm not saying that, you know. What I'm saying? I just hate what it's become. Everything is just like the perception. And somebody had somebody told me if you don't post it, you ain't do it. It's like, damn. Well, I, I did it. I for sure did it though. <laughs> I think we covered all bases, but you know, like I always tell, I just want people to know that you know, life is life. Shit happens, and you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta go with the motions. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't doubt yourself. At the end of the day, it starts with you. If you believe it, then you can achieve it. As cliche as that may sound, but it, it never hit home as much as it did now. So, uh, you know, just keep working at what you do. Don't worry about everybody else. You're going to hear the word no a lot. That's become my favorite word, actually, no. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, things are going to happen, but at the end of the day, God going to always work in your favor. Don't stray away from your calling. Accept what you ask for, because a lot of people will ask for it, and then when they get it, they don't know how to accept it. So, you know, uh, just keep pushing, man. Things are going to happen. You're going to fall. Get up. Brush yourself off. You'll be all right. And wear protection. No, like, no, like, no BS. Um, man, being on tour with Jid and Earth Gang was that for me. Like... Them niggas is so talented, bro. Like, them niggas is so good at what they do, bro. I be trying to, like, steal their talents. Like I, like, I wish I could steal their talents, bro. Like, them niggas are so tight. So, like, being on tour with them and seeing them niggas every day and just, like, you know, being a part of that show, it was like, damn, like, I'm really doing this. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on tour with people that I, that I, that I F with. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, it was, it was, just, I don't know, it was dope to me. It's like, I don't take certain moments for granted. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it was, I know it's a lot of people that would kill to be in my position sometimes and see the stuff that I see sometimes, but definitely being on tour with Jenna Irving was like super surreal to me. Little do they know, they still ugly as hell though. Then my bros, we still talk to this day, so it wasn't no industry shit, you feel me? It was, it was families, all love at all points.